Hi, my name is Zachary Isaiah Terrapin Napon, and this is my last lecture. Today we're going to focus on um, pursuing your personal happiness, the impact that you have on other people's lives, and you know how your impacts um, shape uh, everybody's future. So to start off, I interviewed some of my friends and asked them what their aspirations are. You know, um, what they want to do when they're older, where they see themselves in a few years and here were some of their responses. When I get older I want to make enough money so I don't have any financial worries. You know when, when I grow up I want to or next year I want to start going to college and get a degree as a sports uh, trainer. Um, you know maybe pursue that but after college I'm thinking about going into the military and uh, protecting this great country that we live. When I, when I grow up, I, uh, I want to do something in the medical professions because I really want to help people and I'm very interested in science and medical things. When I get older, I want to be happy with who I am and what I do and enjoy going to my job every day. See, the problem with some people these days is they worry, you know, about the wrong things when they're going into their future. They worry about, you know, money or, you know, things like that. But what they really should worry about, in my opinion, is they need to worry about being happy and you know doing what they're passionate about and most of the people that I talked to you know said they wanted to go into things that they enjoy or things that will help others or protect others and serve our country but um you know one person I talked to just wanted to make money which I guess is okay but I think there's far too many people in the world that are only concerned with money and not with their own happiness when people ask me what I want to be when I'm older, I tell them I want to be a teacher. And you know, a lot of people, the first response is, teachers don't make a lot of money. And I say, well, you know, it's something I've always wanted to do and it's something I'm really passionate about. And you know, teachers make a huge impact on people's lives and if I can change, you know, just a couple people's lives and you know, make them better people, then I'll know that I've left behind my legacy just by leaving my advice and you know my words with my fellow students and to me that's what more people need to be concerned about you know when you die it doesn't matter that you know you had a lot of money or are people going to remember you for the impact you had on their lives and how you shaped the future and to me I want to be remembered for making a difference and helping people get through those rough times, especially in high school. And, you know, that's what I'm all about. And it's not just teaching, I mean, I think that everybody needs to do what they love and do what they're, you know, passionate about. And that's the only way you're truly gonna be happy throughout life, is if you're doing what you love. Not if you go to work every day and are dreading it, but you make a lot of money. I mean, to me, you're just suffering every day and, for what reason, you know? And, you know, you don't have to be a teacher. My my dad, for example, you know, he he's had a huge impact on my life just in the little decisions he makes every day. Um, one day he said, you know what, Zach? It was um, Michigan versus Notre Dame the last time they were gonna play in Ann Arbor. And he said, there's never gonna be another opportunity like this, so we need to take it. So we drove down to Ann Arbor without tickets um, got down there, went searching and searching and searching, and we found tickets, went to the game, and it was one of the most incredible experiences I've had in my life thus far. And I will never forget that because my dad took a risk for me, um, knew that this was, you know, a huge deal. It ended up being the largest crowd in football history, and, you know, really it made me love Michigan that much more, and now I'm going to be attending college there next fall. You know, who you are is really based on the people you surround yourself with, and I'm blessed to have such great parents, um, great teachers, and amazing friends 
and I'm ready to go into the future because I feel like, you know, I, I'm ready to handle everything and I know what I'm going to do and I know I'm going to enjoy doing it. And I think too many people have forgotten the importance of, you know, just having fun in life and, you know, doing the things that you really, truly enjoy and what you're passionate about. And if you can take one thing from this lecture, it would be to, you know, create great friends and bonds with them and, um, you know, just do what you love and have fun doing it, man. I mean, there's really nothing else I can tell you, you know, everybody, everybody's born and everybody dies. It's what happens in between that, you know, is the difference between one person and another person. And if you go through your whole life, you know, um, not satisfied and not happy with what you're doing, but, you know, you're you're getting by or you know you're making a lot of money then there's really no point in that you gotta you gotta have fun and you gotta enjoy what you're doing and only then 